Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bangya Baptist Church, and we praise and thank the Lord that we're all gathered here today, spirit and truth, to worship the Lord. I will give everyone a moment of silent prayer as we prepare our hearts and minds to worship the Lord this morning. We will sing our first song, Be Thou My Vision. May I please request everyone to sing. Ready, sing. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, say that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, thy presence. เจ้าเราขอบคุณพระองค์ที่ในเช้าวันนี้สิ่งที่เราอยากเห็นก็คือพระองค์สิ่งที่เราอยากรับรู้ก็คือพระองค์คอยพระองค์เผยตัวเอง
วัสดีทุกทุกคนนะครับยินดีต้อนรับสู่การนมัสการของเราในเช้าวันนี้เป็นเดือน9ก็ของพระองค์ที่พระองค์สัตซื่อกับเรา Good morning everyone and we would like to welcome you to our worship service this morning this is our joint worship for the month of September and uh, we are glad to have each one of you and we also would like to welcome those who those who are worshiping with us online shall we all stand and let us greet one another especially those who have birthdays in the past week s i kita j a n i n i b o n i n i Okay, happy birthday, s t a n a n ก็อยากจะขอบคุณพี่นาเดียนะครับที่เมื่อวานได้มาทำอบสาดเขามาทำคนเดียวสลามัตตาสังนัจจะสปังปังลิมพิวดริกกาปุนชาลังอิสาโซชาลังเนี่ยตอนประสบการณ์ยินดีมากอาริสินาบีบงกาปุนอันนี้ก็เชิญนัจจะลังดูอาสิลาเกเลสุริคือสิ่งที่มันเชิญลักกาปุนวัดที่อันนี้ก็ว่าไม่ใช่นบีบงกาปุน Do as you like it, and thank you also for uh, offering our flowers. ขอบคุณสุภาพของเราด้วยนะครับวันนี้วันอาทิตย์ที่สองเป็นกลุ่มพี่น้องคนไทยกับพี่นัทแล้วก็ลุงชินรอบตัวผมคาริซาแล้วก็นาตาลีนะครับ Thank you also to our food sponsors this uh, Sunday. Our second group with the Thai brethren, p o r k e m i s m i n c h i n and m i s Natalie. Um, for our announcements, uh, I think this afternoon, after our D groups, we'll have our uh, regular Sunday school. But before that, I think the venue committee is ready to ready g i m a n man p a l o up s a t a n k a r o n ng venue ma. Okay, so before our Sunday school, we'll give time a little bit of time for our updates uh, um, venue for our family camp, so that. If we're ready to decide, um, we can decide right away so that we can uh, start making reservations for a family camp by year end. Okay, um, so that will be our activities for today. And also, please continue to pray for our English camp. That's our life camp this coming October 16 to 19, and the Romprakun Workers Retreat in Chiang Rai on October 24 to 27. And uh, also, please do pray for uh, Achan and Madam Esther. They have a ticket already booked uh, to come back here on September 27. Um, please pray for God's traveling mercies for them. Kag k a b e pa makita na sila balay para buligan yung pupili o g hapot sa k a d a m u d a m o na gamit a r a sa second floor. You can see for yourself if you want to. Okay, so uh, I think kamo lang nato pa pahi balo today. Um, before we listen to God's word, um, I've asked Sister MJ to introduce our uh, new song for the Thai. It's a familiar song. It's an Eng- it's it's an English song, but we can translate naman sa Thai. That's why we s t o introduce pa introduce ay sa buong para masubuo niya naman kanta next week. Kaya arap kami lang arap lang kami sa Job chapter 3. So i n i y a kanta para niya sa Job chapter 3. So the song is I will wait for you. เพื่อแนะนำเพลงใหม่สำหรับโยกนะครับที่เราจะร้องอาทิตย์เริ่มอาทิตย์หน้าผมได้ขอเอ็นเจนะครับที่จะร้องเพลงแนะนำเพลงของเราเพลงมีชื่อว่าข้าจะคอยพระองค์จากสดุดีบทที่130
ั่งเสร็จสิ้นแล้วสิ้นสุดก็ชนเราเราเตรียมตัวเตรียมใจจะทำทำเทศนาทุก Good morning. สวัสดีทุกทุกคนนะครับ Happy Sunday, everyone. We're going to continue our study in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 28. Please, we're going to study this whole chapter this morning, but we're going to read only from verse one to verse five. Genesis chapter 28, verses 1 to 5. We're going to read this all together. Ready? Start. Then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and directed him, You must not take a wife from the Canaanites' women. Arise, go to Padan Aram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take as your wife from there, one of the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may become a company of peoples. May he give the blessing of Abraham to you and to your offspring with you, that you may take possession of the land of your sojournings that God gave to Abraham. Those Isaac sent Jacob away, and he went to Padan Aram, to Laban, the son of Bethuel, the Ramian, and the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother. Let us pray. Our Father, this is your word, and you cast it out upon our hearts like a seed. Lord, we ask that uh, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, that this seed would grow up in the fullness of, of, of faith. And Lord, we're asking for your help. Help us, Lord, to understand this passage, and not only in its original setting, but to understand what you have to say to us this day. By this word, this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The covenant continues. Oh, this is Jacob's journey of faith. Oh, so this is the title of our message this morning. And I think it is safe to say that most Christ followers have, at some point, sa ilang uh, Christian journey, they felt a degree of uncertainty concerning sang ilang uh, relationship with, with God. And perhaps, the uncertainty was the result of falling into some sin which wounded their conscience and grieved the Holy Spirit. Uh, because we all know that living in this sin will certainly have a negative impact upon one's confidence in, in Christ. Or perhaps it was an attack of the evil one that caused the despair. Uh, and it is even possible that there was no obvious explanation for the lack of assurance. Uh, and sometimes... These seasons of spiritual darkness are inexplicable. Huh? And now it may be that ikaw kag ako have experienced a season of uncertainty. No, nakaangay sini. And it is even possible that you are experiencing one now. No? And if you have not in, experienced this in your past and are not in the present, and it is possible that ikaw kagat ko at some time in the future makabatyag sang inatawag nga God is distant. No? Nga makabatyag kita nga ang ginoo is malayo sa akon, sa aton. Kaya sa Sininga chapter, we found an encouragement in this little story about Jacob for the one who feels unsure. And there is light for the sojourner who feels as if darkness has overtaken them and as if God is distant. For Job, or for, for, for Jacob, huh? this must have been a difficult time. 
or dark days para sa iya. Huh? He must have been extremely uneasy or felt very unsure as he made his way to toward Haran. No? Ang lugar that was either no, foreign para sa iya or unfamiliar para sa iya. And he, he left his home in the promised land. No? So according to the foreknowledge of God, Jacob was chosen before the foundation of the earth. Pero to transform him from being manipulative man into spiritual Israel, si Jacob there had to be broken before the Lord. Uh, and he had to learn that God's word is true and cannot be broken. Uh, and the Lord used every cunning plan that Jacob formed to, ano, to teach him a lesson which could transform him into the prince of God he finally became. So remember that Haran was the place na kung sa diin si Abraham was settled for a time with his father na si Terah as they journeyed from the city of Ur and toward the land of Promise. No? At first, no? kita tadira sa Genesis chapter 11 verse 31. No? Hamba niya dira, Terah took Abraham his son and Lot the son of Haran, his grandson, And Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abraham's wife, and they went forth together from Ur to the Chaldeans to go into the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, no, yung amunang direction ni, 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 ni Jacob, they settled there. No? So amunay ang, no? ang city of Haran. No? So from here, no, there is a halin going to that place. Sorry, hindi na makita sa babaw ang Haran. <laughs> Nasubrahan ka zoom. No? So, the city of Haran was located to the north of Canaan. No? Sa other side sa Euphrates River. No? Si Terra, for whatever reason, wala niya na complete ang iyang journey pakato sa promised land. He stopped short of entering into the land of promise with his family. And Abraham would complete the journey after this father's death. No? So ang 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 travel ang ang pag uh, uh, ang, ang flight ni, ni ni Jacob from that place going to Haran is about 550 miles or mga 885 kilometers no? from Beersheba to Haran mga approximately mga one month nga lakat no kag ang ini kuno nga ang present nga nga lugar sang Haran is Iraq no? So, ari siya, alin di siya sa Bersheba, no? pakatuso siya sa Mayharan, di rin siya before alin sa City of Ur. No? So, the things to notice about this story is that ang life ni Jacob seems to be going in a wrong direction. No? His desire was to have The, the, the birthright and the blessings, di ba? Ang iyang desire was to inherit the promise made sa iyang grandfather nga si Abraham kag sa iyang amay nga si Isaac. Di ba? These promises, no, remember, had very much to do with the land of Canaan. Yaman? Kaya ang ginoo, nag-istorya nag, nag, nag o naghambal, naghighambal sa kay Abraham repeatedly saying to your offspring, No, hamba niya sa Genesis chapter 12 verse 7, sila niya to your offspring, I will give this this land, no? Gina remind na, gina sulit-sulit na sa Ginoo sa kay Abraham, no? And he said the same thing to Isaac, no? Hamba niya sa chapter 26 verse 3, no? So join in this land and I will be with you and will bless you for to you and your offspring i will give all these lands and i will establish the oath that i swore to abraham your father huh? and jacob was one of those offspring yeah ang kamaturan dire that he was the chosen offspring diba and, and 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 yet now he is leaving the land that was promised to him No? In exchange for Haran, 
And that place where his, his grandfather na si Tera, ano na tabo nila? He was, he, he, he was stuck many years earlier. Di ba? And Jacob must have felt confused during this time. Unsure. And, hambal ka ni Dira? Afraid. And it is impossible to know no, what exactly was going on inside sa kay sa kay Jacob. But I'm sure that the read that his soul must have been in turmoil. No? Think of what he had just done. Di ba? Balikan to bala ang mga ginimo niya. He took part in the wicked scheme to deceive his own father. Diba? He took advantage of no? Kal- sang sang kaluyahon sang iyang amay. He tricked him in his old age. Diba? Kung tanaw na ito, ang law sang ginoo, hamba niya dira. No? In Exodus chapter 20 verse 12, ang hamba sang law sang ginoo is honor your father and your mother that your days may belong in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Ang ini nga law was written by the finger of God and delivered by Moses sa mga Israelites, no? Many years after sang, no? Jacob lived. But this law was not invented in the days of Moses, no? And indeed, it is a part of that moral law that was written upon Abraham's heart no? in the beginning. No? Kung tanawin natin lang sa Romans chapter 2, uh, we can sulat. Sige. Buksin nyo lang dira ang Romans chapter 2 verses 14. Verse 14. No? Kumbal nyo dira, for when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do what the law requires. They are a law to themselves even though they do not have the law. So this verse is part of Apostle Paul's letter sa mga Romans. No? And it addresses the issue of moral responsibility and accountability particularly in the context of no? Mosaic law. No? In essence, Si Poldry is making the argument that even even among Gentiles or ang hindi mga Jews, di ba? Who did not have the law, uh, have the written Mosaic law, and there is a sense of moral conscience or awareness. Silingedri, they may not have the law in written form, but they still have an inmate understanding of right and and wrong, and this inmate moral sense is often naga refer in it to the law written on their heart so ang point rin ni Paul is that God's moral st- standards are evident not only sa mga written law uh, given to the Jew people but also in the conscience of all humanity uh, and therefore even those who have not been exposed sa mga specific nga pagtudlo sa mosaic law are still accountable for their moral choice because they have the basic understanding of what is right and what is wrong. So ang ining verse, ang Romans chapter chapter 2 verse 14 is significant in discussion about morality, accountability, and the universal nature of moral principles suggesting that all people yeah, regardless of their cultural or religious background have a basic moral compass that informs their action and choices so ang buot silingon that even Jacob was bound to keep it no ang ining law and he was to honor his father and mother and this principle would have also applied para sa iya di ba ang ambal sa sinang verse that your days may belong in the land that the Lord your God is 
giving you. And ano makita ta diri? Jacob violated this law. Yeah? And now he is experiencing a kind of exile, no? From from the land having been sent away, no? To to Haran. So as I have said, these were dark days para sa kay Jacob. Kiamani dishonored his father. He, he participated in his mother's sin. And he swingled his brothers yet again. And the result was, anong result? Separation from his family and from the land that he, he loved. Di ba? Natunan natun sa, sa naunang nga, 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 nga chapter, di ba? Natungod si ni, wala na sila nag... No? This is the last days nga nagkita ay nila sa iya nga, nga amay. Kaya after si ni, no? wala na sila kita ay. Di ba? The result was separation from his family and from the land that he, he loved. So para sa itong application, sin has his effect. No? Tandaan tagin na. That when we violate God's law, it brings division. No? It disrupts and disturbs the peace. And it leads to dark places. No? And though it may be true that your or, or our sins are washed away, paagi sa aton pagtuo sa kay Kristo Jesus, no? tandaan tagihapon that sin still has consequences. Earthly and natural consequences. And here, in this little episode, we learn that Jacob reaped what he saw. No? Pag-aaniho niya di ang iya ng mga gin, gintanom. He saw dishonor and deceit. Ano ang iya ng ginani? Division. Nagtanom siya. No? He was divided from his family and from his, from his land. But, but in the same episode, we also see that God was gracious sa kay Jacob. No? The favor of the Lord that was set upon him even before he was born remained upon him despite his his sin no hambal ta gani natun ang tagani last month nga ang plano sang Ginoo is still intact no wala ya naguba ya ang plano sang Ginoo para sa sa kay Jacob but still intact no ang favor sang Ginoo that was set upon Jacob even before he was born remained No? despite his his sin clearly this favor was unmerited di ba and Jacob was obviously undeserving but God had set his love upon him and nothing could change that no God spoke to his mother si Rebecca while He and his older twins brother were still in the womb saying, no, the older shall serve the younger. And elsewhere, the scriptures say that God loved Jacob, but ano no? Esau he hated. No? Kita tanda sa Malachi chapter 1 verse 3 and Romans chapter 9 verse 13. No? That Jacob was chosen of the Lord and Esau is not. And is apparent in this in this story, huh? And let us briefly compare and contrast the race of Jacob and si Esau before getting to the to, to, to the heart of this of this passage, no? I compare natin sila ng dua. Notice natin the race that after the family was divided by the deception of Isaac, ano ginimo din ni Esau, no? Pursued an earthly and uh, and, and and fleshly solution sa iya nga nga problem no basahon ta bala dira laktawan ta ang iban nga mga verses no kita ta dira sa my verses 6 to 9 di ba amo ni ang inotice natong diri that after the family was divided no by the deception of Isaac si Esau diri pursued an earthly and fleshly solution para sa iya nga problem no hambal niya dira sa my verses 6 to 9 no now Esau 
so that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Padan Aram to take a wife from there and that as he blessed him he directed him you must not take a wife from the Canaanites women verse 7 and that Jacob had obeyed his father and his mother and gone to Padan Aram and verse 8 so when Esau saw that the Canaanites women did not please Isaac his father ano ginhimo niya and verse 9 Esau went to Ishmael and took as his wife, beside the wives he had, Mahalat, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, and the sister of Nibayot. Oh, amo gin mana? Oh, Nibayot gin mana? You pronounce? Okay. So, Esau pursued an earthly and fleshly solution para sa hiyang nga, nga problema. Sang so, nakita niya nga, no, sang so, nabala niya that his mother and father was displeased with this ano mga pagan wives niya no he heard that his mother had said no in 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 Genesis chapter 27 verse 46 no Chilindra I love my life because of the Hittite women if Jacob marries one of the Hittite women like this one of the women of the land that good will my life to what good Will my life be to me? So ano diri gini mo ni Isao, no? Nagkatu sa sa tribe ni Ismael, no? Kilala taman si Ismael, di ba? Utod sang iya nga tatay, di ba? Kaganu gini mo niya, no? Nangita man siya sang hindi man tuod mga tagakanaan ng asawa, no? Pero balaan natin nga ang tribe ni Ismael, they are not chosen. Di ba? They are not the elect one. Oh, hindi sila mga elected. And he decided to marry in the clan thinking that this would please his mother or, or his, his parents. Pero ang notice natin diri that he married into the non-elect family of Ismael. Di ba? Abi niya nakapalipay na sa iya nga Yung mga ginikanan, and it was a big swing in a miss for Esau as he pursued an earthly and fleshly solution para sa iya nga problema. No? Abi niya, muna to ang makapahatag sang no? kalipay sa iya nga nanay kag tatay kay tuod, ginbayaan niya man no? ang iya nga mga kanaanites nga asawa pero nag, no? nangita sa sa iban nga tribe pero no? Notice naton that he married into the non-elect family of Ismael. No? Esau pursued favor with his parents according to human wisdom and to no avail. But note that in this story, God pursued Jacob and set his favor upon, upon Jacob. And God pursued Jacob to reassure him to, to comfort him and to call him to the constant and faithful walk with with God and this is the thing that must be noted no? God pursued Jacob and would not let him go despite sang iyang mga flaws no? so makita natin diri nga application is this is how God deals with his covenant children no? If God has determined no? to set His love upon them, then He is also faithful no? to pursue them, to win them, and to never let them go. And here is the foundation of our confidence in, in, in Jesus Christ. No? We are to know for certain that our right standing before God depends ultimately not upon sa aton yung mga works but sa kay sino sa Jesus Christ no? if our right standing before God depended upon our faithfulness then ano matabo then never could be sure no? hindi sigurado but because it depends upon God and the work that Christ has accomplished no in 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 our behalf no so, we can have confidence in Him 
no? even in times of darkness and difficulty for God is faithful to keep his his promises no? dapat sa ginoo lang gid kita nagadepende no? keep in mind the commitments the Lord has made no? so in times of darkness we must look to God and remember the the promises that he has made no kung ang kabuhi gani it grows difficult and we begin to to feel uncertain no ano imo na ton we must look to God and to his word and it is there that we will find an immovable foundation on which to stand kay nga man kay ang atong ginoo is faithful kag ang iya nga, nga, nga word is sure kag ang ining principle is clearly present sa sininga nga nga, nga narrative no? did you notice that twice in this story the lord was gracious sa pagremind sa kay Jacob of his promises concerning sa iya no? ang first nga reminder came by the way of blessing no? that his father Isaac pronounced upon him. Di ba? Kita na sa first verses sa sininga chapter. And the second reminder came by way of, ano, a dream. Di ba? Diri sa last part sa sininga chapter. No, basang tada in verse 1 and 2, Isaac called Jacob and gave him the instruction. Hambal niya dada. Then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and directed him and you must not take a wife from the Canaanites women no? it is in verses 3 and 4 that we find Isaac pronouncing a blessing upon Jacob anti siya mag lakat for the region of Padan Aram and more specifically specifically to the city of Haran and there Isaac speaks to Jacob ang hambal niya dira sa, sa verses 3 and 4? Oh. Sila niya dira in verses 3 and 4, God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you that you may become a company of peoples. May He give the blessing of Abraham to you and to your offspring with you that you may take possession of the land of your sojourning that God gave to Abraham. And this was a very significant moment. No? It was significant not only para sa kay Jacob, but also sa iyang amay nga si Isaac. Hingaman. Diri, makita natin that si Isaac was no longer determined to give the blessing to Esau. Ngati, amun ang paborito niya ng anak. Pero, he resigned himself to the fact that Jacob no nga ang younger of the two was indeed the son of promise according to the revealed will of of God no give up na to siya kay wala man siya gihapon mahimo kun i-push niya gihapon no kag nakita naton sa sa nauna nga mga nga, nga chapter nga ti di ba naghinulsol na to siya no makita naton ang ang, ang ang repentance sa iya and Isaac finally got it in other words sa sining nga moment was obviously significant for Jacob. No? Nga man, for in this moment, he heard his father knowingly and willingly speak to him and pronounce upon him the blessing and the promises that were given first sa kay Abraham. No? Atuya, no? intended na gito para sa iya. No? Balan na ni, ni, ni Isaac kung sino ang iya nga ginabless no kag wala na di siya no hindi na ni siya napilitan dire or na intuan amo na an makita naton dire that knowingly and willingly no pronounce the blessing no sa kay sa kay Jacob and Jacob had been blessed before di ba remember but that first blessing was given to him nga ando not willingly and knowingly but by bueno deception diba? not that the first blessing wasn't significant 
No, evidently, Isaac believed in that it mattered. Diba? But Jacob must have wondered if he was really blessed of the Lord no? on that first, no? given the way that he got the blessing. No? Diba? Makapaminsan ito siya, ngati, basi atong una, basi hindi tutuod, no? basi wala ginman ko ito gin blessing ginoo. No? No? But given the way that he got the blessing, no? here he was blessed by his father knowingly and willingly. No? Do ka nami, no? Hindi nga daw, hindi ka nami, gin sang, 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 sang feeling. Di ba? Di ba may mga, may mga regalo, bala kong kaisa nga, o oh, sige na lang, imo na lang ni. <laughs> no? Hindi ni tanik para si imo, puro ti, sige ay, ikaw, imo na lang ni, ay, why man di siya? No? Nami, gin dyan kung, oh, ini yung regalo, para gin niya sa imo ya. Di ba? Ka nami sang feeling. Di ba? Nga, knowingly and willingly, para gina sa imo. No? So amo ni ang no imagine to diri ang feeling ni, ni ni Jacob at the same time ni ni Isaac. And si Jacob diri was reminded of three promises as Isaac pronounced this blessing upon him. No? Ang una, God has promised to make him into a great multitude. Oh, una diri that God had promised to make him into a great multitude and he would have many descendants. No, ikadua dira. No. This offspring of his of his would be blessed, no, and they would be a blessing to the nations. And then akita tlo diri, these descendants would possess the land of promise, no, the land in which si si Abraham, si Isaac and now si Jacob sojourn, di ba? Ang ini nga mga promises were not new no hindi ni sa mga bag-o nga mga promises no they were given first sa iyang uh, lolo nga si Abraham kag sa iyang uh, amay nga si Isaac kag sa sining nga moment sa kay Jacob no what his father and the father that he had not long ago deceived knowingly and willingly ginhatag ini nga promise sa sa iya no in in verse 10 through 15 no Jacob is again reminded of the promises of the Lord but sa siningation the reminders came into a form of a dream no ambal niya sa my verse 10 Jacob left Beersheba and went toward Haran and he came to a certain place and stayed there that night because the sun had set no i think we are to feel the loneliness no kag ang uncertainty sa kay Jacob as he find himself no sa sining nga mga tinion no without a place nga mastayhan no as a darkness overtakes him no and then hamba niya pagidira padayon nga verse in verse 11 taking one of the stones no of the place he put it under his head and lay down in that place to to sleep and this was common for no sa mga shepherds to do as they slept in the open field no para lang ma-elevate ang ilang uh, ang ilang uh, ulo no kakita ta dira in verse padayon ta dira in verse 12 basa ta dira in silingan dira and he dreamed and behold there was a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God were ascending and descending on it and behold the Lord stood above above it no kita diri what an awesome sight this must have been diba? the heavens were opened before jacob and then ano nakita niya diri a vision of the lord kag ang traveling upon traveling up and down on this ladder were ano angels no kung kita ihan makakita sang amo ni diba kulbaan ata kay ti basi sugat na <laughs> ha Bisan tulog ka gani, kita ka lang sang suga ato galing, inbuksan lang ang suga mo, habi mo, ay hala, sugat na ko. <laughs> no? Now, what did this vision mean? No? Ano ang buti lingon sa sininga vision? Well, the words that God spoke to Jacob helped to clarify the meaning of this vision. No? Pada yun, ito pala basa sa verse 13 to 15. 
Oh, basanta dungan, ready, begin. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. Your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west, to the east, to the north, to the south, and in you, your offspring, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Behold, I am with you, and I will keep you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Oh. Notice na tundiri ang lima ka mga butang about this vision and the word of the Lord spoke to to, to Jacob. Oh. Una dira, Jacob saw the Lord who revealed himself as the God of his grandfather nga sa Abraham kag sang iya nga amay nga si Isaac. No? Bangay Baptist Church family, kag mga online viewers, nothing in our lives will be right until we know the the Lord. Nga man, we were created to know him, to live in obedience para sa iya and for his glory. Kay nga man, for He is our Maker. And Jacob had no doubt heard about the great God nga nag-appeared sa iya nga, 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 nga grandfather, nga si Abraham, kag sa iya nga amay. But now, in the same God, the same, uh, this same God met Jacob in a personal way. And this was a life-changing experience para sa kay, para sa kay Jacob. Huh? Take special note of this. No? Tandaan ta ni, that the Lord revealed Himself to Jacob. No? And this is the way that it always goes. No? Now that we are fallen into sin, we do not search for the Lord. But instead, the Lord graciously revealed himself to us if we are one of this elect Jacob was was elect of, of the Lord no isa sa mga pinili sang Gino and and he was not pursuing the Lord but the Lord pursued him and revealed himself to him ha huh? Muna una ta dra makita, no? Jacob saw the Lord who revealed himself as the God of Abraham and Isaac and then, di ba? And Jacob, di ba? Amo na ang mga ma, ang mga mabasa ta sa mga next nga mga chapters dire, no? Tatlo gini sila, pirmi, no? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. No? Ikaduha dire nga makakita naton. Notice that the Lord promised to always be with Jacob. Ano ang niya, Dra? I am with you and will keep you wherever you go. No? Ang ni Charles Spurgeon. No? That God should give to Jacob bread to eat and raiment to put on was much. But it is nothing compared with I am with thee or I am with you that God should send his angel with Jacob to protect him would have been much but it is nothing compared with you know, I am with you this includes countless blessings but it is in itself a great deal more than all the blessings we can conceive of what? Huh? God's blessing and faithfulness to Jacob is seen in the several ways that his presence is described no sa life ni ni Jacob no kanami no I am with you The Lord was seen in heaven but the latter signified the Lord's presence and activity upon the earth and we must remember that though we cannot see the Lord, but He is ever present with His people. And this is a great source of encourage, encouragement to all the people of God in, in every 
generations and God is with his people no and ang bahay magkita he dwells in the midst of them and he will never leave them nor forsake them no hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 and it is and if this true no which is certainly is diba then we can endure anything kay nga man for god is with us diba kita ta sa study ni ni job diba he endure everything because god is with him diba so when the church in rome was experiencing hardship si apostle paul encouraged them with those words no mga makita sa romans chapter 8 no sorry ang uh, Kanta niya na eh. No? Kumuni siya ang uh, makita nato ang hambal niya dira sa may Genesis chapter 28 verse 15 Behold, I am with you. So, ini, nag-describe ini isang present blessing ni Jacob and the indescribable blessing of uh, God's presence. And then makita nato sa Genesis chapter 31 verse 3 no, hambal niya dumandira, I will be with you. So, ang ini naman niya, uh, sa sini naman niya nga chapter, nag-describe ini isang wonderful promise, ang ginoo, no? Isang future presence and blessing. And then sa Genesis chapter 31, verse 5, hambal niya dira, the God of my father has been with me. No? So, this was Jacob's testimony of God's faithfulness and presence with with him and then in 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 chapter 48 verse 21 hambal niya dira god will be with with you oh ini naman was uh, jacob passing on the blessing no of god's no presen presence on the next generation no so mo to kinahambal ko in the church in rome was uh, experience the hardship no gin encourage sila ni apostle Paul sa sininga nga 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 mga tinaga no makita sa Romans chapter 8 verses 35 to 39 no hambal nindra who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written for your sake we are being killed at the day long, we are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be, all, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our, our Lord. No, the greatest source of encouragement for the Roman church was to know that God was with, with them. No? And that nothing could separate them from His love in Christ Jesus. And this, and this is what Jacob needed to hear in, in order to, to, to have courage sa iyang uh, journey. And he needed to, to be assured that the Lord would go with him. No? So, in katatlo diri, no, the Lord reassured Jacob of his special plan for his offspring. No, your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth and you shall spread abroad of the west to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. No, so, the, 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 the rest of the Pentateuch or the five book of, book of Moses will show the initial fulfillment sa sining uh, promise through the birth of the nation sang Israel who would come from from Jacob loins no and then ang ika uh, lima dira, no the lord reassured Jacob that it would be through his offspring that all of the nations of the earth would be blessed no and of course Balaan natin that this promise 
finds its ultimate fulfillment sa kay sino? Sa kay Christ Jesus who would come into the world through the nation of Israel and would die as the Lamb of God who takes away the, sin, the sins of the world. So there is no greater blessing than, than to have our sins forgiven and to be reconciled to, to God. Diba? And Christ came to give that blessing not only to, to the Israelite but to all nations of the earth. No? Intindihan nato ni Sing Sinclaro ah, that ang plano sang Ginoo sa mga Israel who would descend sa kay Jacob was from the beginning that they would serve as a kind of a mediator between God and mankind. No? Kaya ang Ginoo sang no, the God of heaven determined to make a way sa mga katauhan sa sining kalibutan to be reconciled to him. And this he would do in the land of Israel paagi sa mga tao sang Israel who would descend halin sa kay Jacob. No? So indeed, the ladder that breeds the gap between heaven and the earth signified this very thing. No? Kung basahon natin sa John chapter 1 verses 43, to 51 oh, John chapter 1 verses 43 to 51 oh, hindi rin makita natin that Christ interpretation sa sining a vision that was shown sa kay Jacob of the ladder to heaven and the angels ascending and descending upon it no? hamba niya dira sa sining a, a, a book no? the next day Jesus uh, decided to go to Galilee. Kaganodri kita niya, he found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. And Philip found Nathaniel and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the, in the law and also the prophets wrote. And Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph, Nathaniel said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. And Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered in him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. And Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus answered him, Because... I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? And you will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of, the Son of Man. So we have asked the question, what did this vision mean? No? Anong but silingon sa sininga vision? And we would be, no, why speak, pay careful attention to, to Jesus' explanation sa sining a book, sa sining a mga a chapter and verses. No? In, 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 in John chapter 1, verse 43, no? sa so, so 51, malern natin dira that a man named Nathaniel, na ano siya, amazed because Jesus knew that he was set, sitting under a fig tree sang si Philip had approached him. Kag ang response din ni Nathaniel sa kay sa ginhambal ni Jesus Christ, anong hambal niya dira? Rabbi, no? You are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. And then listen again to the response of of Jesus sa kay Nathaniel. No? Hambal ni Jesus sa iya because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? And you will see greater things than this. Truly, tru- truly, truly, I say to you that you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending in the Son of, of Man. Kaya sa sini, klaro diri nga si, si, si Christo Jesus was referring to this chapter of Genesis chapter 28 that we are considering today. You notice natin diri that Jesus spoke of heaven being opened and of angel 
ascending and descending. Di ba? Pero strangely diri, wala diri may na-mention nga ladder. Di ba? Wala diri sa sining nga, nga New Testament sa, sa John na-mention ang ladder. No? Hambal niya dira sa kay Nathaniel. No? You will see heaven open. Ha? Huh? And the angel of God ascending and descending on on me, the son of God. No? Ang muna ang ginahambal niya dira on the son of God. Who is this son of God nga gina, ginahambal niya dira? Si Jesus Christ. No? So, sino ang ladder dira nga ginamin? No? What did the ladder signify? Now, the ladder shown to Jacob in a dream signifies Jesus Christ. It revealed to Jacob that God would provide a way for man to be reconciled to him. And God would provide a mediator, a savior who would bridge the chasm of sin that had opened up between God and, and man. And Jesus Christ is the door. He is the way. He is the narrow gate. And indeed, He is the ladder which connects heaven and earth. 1 Timothy 2 verses 5 and 6 For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus who gave Himself as a ransom for all which is the testimony given at the proper proper time only there is only one god no in the mediator between god and man wala nang iba kundi si Cristo Jesus no para sa atong application tandaan natin that these promises made to Jacob and the vision shown to him apply para sa imo kag sa akon but not in the exact same way that they applied sa kay Jacob. Kaya ngini nga promises were made para sa kay Jacob. Di ba? And God would be with him as he journeyed away from the promised land and he would be faithful to bring him back. Di ba? And God would give him many descendants and to them he would give the land of Canaan. Kaya ini nga, 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 nga promises would be fulfilled in the formation of the nation sang Israel and their conquest of Canaan. Mga paagi sa kay Jacob's nga offspring, the nations of the earth would be, ano ang balya itong ina? Bless. And consider in this way, no, nga ini nga mga, prom nga, nga mga promises belong uniquely sa kay sino? sa kay Jacob kag hindi para sa aton di ba but considered no from the vantage point of their fulfillment in Christ Jesus nga ang ining mga promises are also ours no para aton aton man in Christ God has reconciled us to himself kay mga man we belong to him through faith in Christ and we are to rest assured that the will that He will never leave us nor forsake us. And He will bring us safely home into the new heaven and earth. And, and indeed, nothing can separate us from His, from His, from His love. Ikaw kag ako, kinahanglan nga i-remind of these promises continually. Diba? Dasig lang tama ka maka mal malipat di ba huh? just as Abraham si Isaac at si Jacob they were frequently reminded of God's promises to them no huh? kag dapat kita man no huh? gina remind kita permi sang promise sang Ginoo no huh? kita man must be reminded of God's promises to us no huh? stated differently but we must be reminded of the gospel we must be reminded of that good news that through faith in Jesus the Christ we find the forgiveness of our sins and we must be reminded that good news that though we were once children of wrath now we are 
the children of, of God. And we must be reminded that the God has promised to never leave nor forsake us. And ang kanami pagidiri that He will finish the work that He started in us. And He will bring us safely home. For we are Christ's beloved bridge. No? Or beloved bride, if indeed we have been united to Him by faith and cleansed by His, by His, by His blood. So the gospel is not only something that we need to to hear at the beginning of our Christian life, no. But always and until the Lord calls us as home, as gospel. So the gospel I am referring to the full is Christ-centered gospel that was preached from all the scriptures. No, by the first disciples of Christ, ang ina ng gospel is always something that we need to be reminded of. Kaya ang ina ng gospel is the very basis of our assurance before, before God. So in times of difficulty and darkness, this is what we need more than anything. No, we must look to God and remember dumdumon ang iyang mga promises and that He will be faithful. To keep them. No? Ang, ini, ang last ng mga verses diri from 16 to 22. No? After sina, no? ginhambal ang no? promises sa ginoo, no? kita natin diri ang respond in faithful worship. No? Having been reminded of the promises of God that are ours in Christ Jesus, it is only right that we then response in, in what we call faithful worship. Notice not only read that this is what Jacob did. Diba? After being reminded of God's promises to him, ano ginimo niya dira? No? He arose in faith and he worshiped. And this is a medicine for a troubled soul. No? Instead of withdrawing from God, ang dapat nato ni on is we ought to draw near no? sa ginoo in times of trouble for he is what we must or we most need no? in verse 16 sound to draw in verse 16 to 17 then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it and he was afraid and said how awesome is this place this is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. Claro diri, Jacob felt alone and distant from God as he traveled. No? But in this dream, it was revealed that God was with him and always before him. Kag, wala ni na, na, na realize ni, ni, ni Jacob at first. But now, he knows. Diba? Ang scripture rin naghahambal that Jacob was afraid and this is always the response sa mga katawahan when then behold the glory of the Lord. Diba? Kay kung magpakita ang, ang, ang ginoo or the angel of the Lord, it means death. No? In some reason. And they often trembled with fear and fall down before the Lord as if dead. Diba? Amo na, hindi tama, kwanan nga, he's afraid. No? So, ang na-encounter niya ang, ang ginoo. So, ang aton na rin uh, application sa sini is, no, ikaw kag ako would be wise to live a life mindful of the fact that the God of glory is, in fact, no, ever before us, no, the radiance, the radiance of this glory is typically hidden no, sa aton man nga mga panulok. But, his, but this does not change sa kamaturan that He is always before us. And we live our lives before His face. No? Kaya nga man, kita tanan sang ginoo, balaan tanan sang ginoo, and He is everywhere present. <laughs> Nami pag ang pag-describe niya that God is awesome. No? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Consider na tundiri ang response ni Job in verse 18. No? Tambal dira sa my verse 18. So early in the morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for the pillar and poured oil on the top of it. 
And he called the name of that place Bethel, for the name of the city was Luz at the first. Then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in, the, in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and clothing to wear, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, and then the Lord shall be my God, and this stone which I have set up for, the, for a pillar shall be God's house, and of all that you give me, I will give a full tenth to you. No? So, ang ining stone that Jacob used for a pillow at night was turned into a memorial. No? Jacob turned it on its side so that it would stand out no? as a natural and man-made. No? It pointed to heaven. Uh, perhaps as a reminder that God of heaven had revealed, revealed himself to, 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 to Jacob. So when Jacob poured out some oil upon the rock, it has an act of worship. Ba? He sacrificed some of the precious oil in faith and out of gratitude to the God of, of heaven. Kaya makita natin dira that Jacob named the place Bethel, which means the house of, of God. And this was an acknowledgement sa kamaturan that had been revealed sa, sa iya that God would be present in this land in a special way and He would dwell with His people there. And through this land, no, all the people of the earth would be blessed. No? So ang city diri sang Bethel would pay an important though not glorious nga role in, in, in the history of Israel. So, among the city of Israel, it is second only to Jerusalem Jerusalem in the number of times nga again mentioned sa, sa Old Testament. And later, no, when speaking to Jacob, no, nag-referred in eh, sa uh, God referred to himself as the God of Bethel. No? So Bethel would eventually no amuning subo no? Bethel would eventually become a high place known for a place of sacrifice sa mga idols no? kita tira sa may 1st king chapter 13 so like ba ah. okay kita tira sa may 1st king chapter 13 verse 32 Hosea chapter 10 verse 15 kay sa may Amos Chapter 4, verse 4. No? Kita to dira that no? ang lugar sang Bethel eventually become a high place known for a place of uh, sacrifice to to idols. No? And then in verses 20 to 22, kita to dira that Jacob made a vow. No? Ambal niya dira, if God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and I will give me bread to eat and clothing to wear so that I come again to my father's house in peace then the Lord shall be my God and this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house and of and all that you give me I will give a full tent to you ang ining vow was obviously a personal profession of faith uttered by 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 Jacob no like vow sa diri to have the Lord as his his God and he would enjoy communion with with the Lord in, 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 in his house and he would worship the Lord by by, by giving him a tenth of all no? yung tithes no? but, his, but this vow also anticipated the, for, the, the, the formation of the nation sang Israel and Jacob could do all of these things on much no? larger scale through Israel, through Israel who would descend nga halin sa iya no? and the Lord would be Israel's God no? kag i-enjoy ma-enjoy nila ang communion sa, 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 sa house, sa balay sa, sa puluyan, sa ginawa and they would worship Him by giving a tenth of all by bringing their tithes and offspring, offerings up to the tabernacle and later sa dala na nila sa Sa, sa temple. So in Genesis chapter 28 verses uh, 20 to 22 kita ko diri lima ka mga significant meanings sa uh, vow ni Jacob. No, una diriya, 
is acknowledgement of God's presence. Uh, Jacob's vow begins with an acknowledgement sang presensya kag sang guidance sang ginoo sa iya. He recognizes that God is with him no, sa iya nga pagpanlakaton and this aligns with our belief in God's providential care over his chosen people. No? And then ikaduha dira conditional vow. No? Ang vow diri ni, ni, ni Jacob is conditional. No? indicating sang iyang desire for God's continued presence and provision naga reflect in eh, sang idea that God's blessing and favor are conditional upon faith and obedience kag naga implies in eh, sang necessity of faith and trust sa promise sa promise sang Ginoo no? And then ikatatlo, desire for peace and security. Huh? Jacob expresses his desire for God to keep him safe. No? Provide for his, that God will provide for his basic needs. No? I'm mentioning Yunidra, bread and clothing. And ensure a peaceful return sa iyang pagbalik sa puluyan sang iyang amay oh unang iyang desire for peace and security kag ini naga reflect sang recognition of God's role in providing providing for and for protecting his 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 people oh and then ang ikaapat dira nga makita ko sa vow ni ni Jacob is ang commitment to covenant relationship Oh, then the Lord shall be my God oh, so kita natin that Jacob is making a commitment to serve and worship the God who has been faithful sa, sa iya kag ini naman naga reflects sa emphasis on covenant relationship between sa ginoo kag sa iya nga mga pinili no? where faith and obedience are reciprocated with God's presence and and blessing. And then, ang last din ang nakita ko is faith in God's faithfulness. So, ang vow din ni, ni, ni Jacob implies his faith in God's faithfulness to uphold his end of the covenant promise. No? Or covenant promises. No? Kung baga, it acknowledges that God is the ultimate source of blessings and security sa iyang nga, nga kabuhi. That's why ang iyang uh, response dira, that's why he said in the last part of verse 22 ang balnya dira, I will give the full tent of uh, full tent to to you. No? So ang pamangkot dira sa aton is having been reminded of the promises of God that are ours no? in Christ Jesus. Ang pamangkot diri, will you respond in worship? Will you rise up even in times of darkness and despair to give God the glory? Will you honor him as your covenant lord and god and this you decided to do at the start of the christian life but may i suggest to you that this is something you must decide to do continually day by day no? No? so in conclusion We can see in this text or in this chapter, chapter 28, is a covenant faithfulness, a divine providence, human response, stewardship, continuation of the covenant. No? Covenant faithfulness. No? Ang ininga chapter underscores God's covenant faithfulness in reaffirming no? sang iyang promesa sa kay Jacob. No? Just as he, he had with Abraham kag sa kay Isaac 
ang ini nag and ini nag highlights sa enduring nature sang sang Ginoo or, or sang covenant sang Ginoo despite sang shortcoming naton nga mga nga mga katawhan kay nambal ko dira nga divine providence kay makita naton diri sa journey ni, ni Jacob kag sa iyang nga encounter sa Ginoo o paagi sa sa, sa iyang uh, dream sa Bethel nag uh, demonstrate ini sang providential guidance sang Ginoo sa iyang nga kabuhi no kag sa mga chosen people sang Ginoo nag reflect ini sang aton nga belief in God's sovereignty over human human affair no and then ikatatlo dira ang ang human response no kita dira ang ang, ang response ni, ni 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 Jacob sa revelation sang Ginoo includes acknowledging sang presence sang Ginoo concer- uh, and and concentrating sa, sa sa place and making a vow di ba and this emphasizes the human responsibility of recognizing and responding uh, to God's covenant faithfulness and then ang ikapat dira stewardship Oh, kita dito sa last part yun, sa verse 22 that Jacob's vow to tithe from all God provides no, is an act of stewardship no, reflecting the concept of respons- responsibly managing God's blessing for His purposes oh, and then ang last dira makita natin is the continuation of the covenant no, ang Genesis chapter 28 sets the stage of the continuation of God's uh, covenant promises paagi sa lineage ni, 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 ni Jacob. And this aligns with the emphasis on generational blessing and the passing down of faith from one generation to the next generation. No? So muna yung makita, nakita ko nga uh, mga important theme No? in emphasize sa sininga chapter so in times of difficulty and darkness this is where we need to be no? many have a propensity to run and hide when the goes or when the going tough when the going gets tough no? so instead we ought to draw near no? We ought to draw near to the Lord, and we ought to come into His house to to hear His word, no? proclaiming, and to be reminded sang iyang mga promises. So we ought to come and worship, no? for the Lord is faithful, kag He is worthy sang aton yung mga pagdayaw. Let us pray. Father, we're so thankful for the opportunity that we listen and we meditate upon your word lord we are asking for the guidance of the holy spirit to continue to work in our hearts heavenly father there are so many lessons for us to learn through the life of jacob and lord we pray that we would not become so familiar or familiar with, with, with the Bible stories that we fail to learn the deep, deeper lesson they, they, they teach and apply them to, to our life. Lord, teach us your will. We pray and we ask that you would align our will to your will so that we only say and do those things that are pleasing in your sight. Lord, keep us also from expressing unbelief in your word by trying to sort out our own problem in our own way rather than trusting you to fulfill all that you have purpose. Thank you, Father God, that you work all things together for, for good even when we stray from the path of righteousness. Lord, keep the eyes of our hearts looking to Jesus alone. And this we ask for 
His name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God for His word. Shall we all stand and let us sing our response song? Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. จิตใจของเราและพระองค์ได้เผยพระองค์เองเป็นส่วนตัวให้กับคนที่พระองค์ทรงเลือกกับทุกยุคทุกสมัยพระองค์ได้แหวกสวรรค์ออกเพื่อให้ยาโคบได้เห็นพระองค์ต่อหน้าต่อตาและเห็นว่าพระองค์เป็นพระเจ้าที่ได้เผยพระองค์ลงมาจากสวรรค์เพื่อให้มนุษย์ได้มารู้จักและกลับคืนดีกับพระองค์และบันไดที่เชื่อมต่อโลกกับสวรรค์มนุษย์กับพระองค์คือพระเยซูคริสต์พระผู้ช่วยรอดของเราและตามบรรทัดสัญญาของพระองค์พระองค์ได้ส่งบันไดที่เชื่อมต่อนี้และคนกลางนี้ก็คือพระเยซูเพื่อเรานั้นจะได้มีความสัมพันธ์กับพระองค์สร้างสัมพันธ์กับพระองค์และรักษาความสัมพันธ์นี้ไว้กับพระองค์ผ่านพระเยซูคริสต์ขอบคุณสำหรับพระพรของการนมัสการนี้ขอบคุณสำหรับพระพรของการสมัคีธรรมและการได้มารับใช้พระองค์ร่วมกันขอให้พระองค์ได้รับเกียรติกับทุกสิ่งที่เราทำและขอให้เราเดินด้วยความสัตย์ซื่อกับพระเจ้าที่ทรงสัตย์ซื่อกับเราเสมอ Father we thank you that you are the God who Reveals yourself to every person that you have chosen through all the ages. That you have opened heaven so wide for us to see where you are and who you are, and for us to see this ladder that connects heaven to earth, that connects God to a sinful man. And this ladder by which we can come to you is through your Son Jesus Christ. That through what He has done and who He is, Lord, we can be reconciled with you, the one and only Mediator between 
our sinfulness that can be forgiven and be reconciled with you through him. And so we thank you, Lord, that we can have this relationship with you and we can maintain this relationship with you through your son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you for the blessings of your word, the blessings of this worship and this fellowship. May you receive all the glory and the honor for everything that we have said, sung, and done today before your presence. And may we walk in faithfulness to you, our God, who is always faithful and who is always with us. May the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of, our Holy, of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Let's sing this high song.